<laughs> Executive producer Gavin. <laughs> 3D like SCTV. Nice. For the video. For those watching in 3D. I love yes. the beautiful artwork. Who did the artwork? Who, who did, did the artwork? Who did that? Three? Oh, okay. Nice. It's a beauty. All right. Yeah, you can record while we talk if you want. Yeah? Okay. We are here in the Soundways from the Underground, Underground Bunker Studio with Brian Staker from the Awkward, oh, awkward Hour, hour. Park, uh, Podcast. Supposed to fill in the blank thing. No, no, right. It's all right. We're in uh, video mode. Brian, we're going to use this on your, uh, it's one of your uh, On the maybe. Awkward Hour. It, 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 is, it is, it be, will be an awk There's a video hour. component, right, on the YouTube channels and... Yeah, that's right. On Ustream. Oh, there you go. Okay. I have a few clips on YouTube and, and Ustream slash channel slash the dash awkward dash hour. I've got to get that on too. I have theawkwardhour.com. Oh, yeah. I need to get it fixed so you can just go there <laughs> and for all your awkward hour needs. But, <laughs> but for now, the Ustream. One stop shop. You go to Ustream and track it down. Does Ustream stream it uh, live when you're making the show? That's right. It streams it live. You you don't have to, but I do because it's more awkward. <laughs> <laughs> what? Tell me a, a little bit about how long have you been doing the uh, the podcast and uh, in its many forms? I guess when did you start it and why did you start it? Um, I started five years ago, and that's why I'm celebrating. We'll we'll get to that in a minute. But five years ago, in April of two thousand and eight. I'll take these off. Oh. I sound okay, right? I trust you. Yeah. <laughs> trust <laughs> um, the producer. <laughs> um, in 2008, I've written a lot of, you know, local um, magazines and uh, the, back the event, City Weekly, a few things for uh, Salt Lake Magazine and different places. Sure. But I felt like I wanted to do something a little bit more my own thing where I could stretch it out a little bit more and because of the word count and yeah, just to yeah. stretch out and have a longer format interviewing people. I actually, um, way back in my space, um, <laughs> I, I had a, I had a list of like 10 different titles. I didn't know it was going to even be the awkward hour. I just wanted to do longer form interviews with people. Yeah. So I put like 10 different possible titles I let my friends vote, and the overwhelming winner was the awkward hour, and so it was destined to be. Yeah, perfect. So, and did um, you have a vision for it right from the beginning, or was it something you wanted to have kind of naturally evolve as you played with it along the way? Um, kind of both. I have this vision of awkwardness. Aw awkward experiences tell us a lot about our humanity, our personality, and what it means to to be human and um, also very funny. It's in, it was in comedy um, okay. on iTunes, but also let it evolve and let it be spontaneous and not, you know, have kind of a rough outline to the shows, but not really scripted, kind of let, let them go off on tangents as they also right. off, often would do. Um, so I started out, it was on iTunes and... Uh, just audio for about the first year. In fact, Gavin was, I think you were the first one I did a video at his apartment, was the first <laughs> experiment with video. And there are always little pratfalls and difficulties trying to do. Yeah, try to add a new video on, on, you, <laughs> on you stream and streaming live. Um, so for a while I was doing both. Um, audio and video and you can't the uh audio is not on youtube on itunes right now um the server i was using went all um commercial uh, all um big name yeah mevio with adam curry former oh, M wow. mtv <laughs> i was doing it and he was offering free hosting but then he went to all um paid <laughs> all like big name big name people so my feed got dumped, and I'm hoping to get that back up with another host. So that'll be back on um, iTunes okay. very soon. All of the old episodes and start putting the new ones on audio. But since about then, about 2009, um, I started doing them on 
Ustream video, and so you can see all of those are archived up to the last four years of it. They're oh. all on Ustream. Okay. What what are the are there any particular either shows or episodes that either people mention to you as being memorable to them or that stick out in your mind from five years of doing it where you're like, I can't believe that that one went that well or that shitty or whatever, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, cr- um, crazy things happened, and I, um, I've had a few um, co- um, friends that cooked cook- cooking episodes. And nice. a few, you know, always a, a little um, grease fire. fire. <laughs> and um, a, few, a few people that have... Um, been fairly famous um, filmmaker Trent Harris. I'm oh, looking yeah. looking to get more. Of course, you always want to get a big name to get a lot of hits. Right. You know, uh, um, Trent Harris and um, a really fun one last year during the presidential campaign. I did this on video. Um, presidential candidate Vermin Supreme. Oh, which party was he? It was a lot of fun. I don't even know what <laughs> party he wears a boot on his. Had oh, nice. is from back east, okay. and we did it over Skype, so that was oh, like cool. video. Yeah, one do it on this camera, You're and then holding video. holding the other camera, filming it to record record it, nice. and um, that's crazy because I was trying, you know, for a while to get this Skype to work with him on video. And it was like an hour before we couldn't get it to work, and then an hour before. It was scheduled to actually do it. Yeah. We got it. We got it to work. It was nice. like in the parking lot of Cr- <laughs> of Crown Burger after I <laughs> ate my Dude, my pre show burger, yeah. and then he called. Oh my god, it wor- it's working. Okay, <laughs> nice. so it worked, and that was funny because he he promised everyone a pony, and uh, he, and he just randomly he has a thing. A friend of mine warned me later on. I didn't know he has a, th- a fetish about toothbrushing, and he just randomly brought out this plastic tooth. That, and started brushing it during like talking the show. about but, but he talked about <laughs> some really serious issues about how money uh, is money controls everything in politics. Right. He's just a satirical candidate, but he uses that to make a point about yeah. um, how messed up politics is. And one other last summer, Crispin Glover was here, and I did an interview with him. Oh, nice! And that was really memorable and a lot of fun and awkward, <laughs> awkward moment where for a, at first I asked him something, and he's like, "Well, have you?" What films? My, yeah, I'll have, you have to listen to that. And yeah, that's yeah. A, that's the thing at this awkward fest. I'm going to go through before that, go through these five years of footage, and put together a kind of blooper reel, highlight oh, yes. highlight reel, some really funny, really funny <laughs> moments, like outtakes, <laughs> or not even outtakes, <laughs> just the funniest. Well, yeah, let's talk about the awkward fest part. So it's a celebration of the five years, I guess. And you're going to have, besides a greatest hits reel or greatest misses reel, whatever you call it, uh, live music and whatnot. And and comedians. So it's a day huh. long. It's like um, starting at 1 p.m. at the complex over. They have like, I don't know if you've been to the complex. They have a couple of different venues. It's like four different. Yeah, different size rooms. And, and um, the next from the smallest. I could I could afford. Um, they have an actual stage for bands. It's called the Vertigo Room. Oh, nice! <laughs> yeah, <awkward>. great. <laughs> and so um, all the bands have to play a U two cover. No, uh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, um, that song. <laughs> no, no. Um, it, so it's going to be like one to nine p.m. Um, we've got the first half is local comedians. My co-host of the Awkward Hour who came in, and that was another thing I didn't even mention. We were doing radio on utahfm.org for for up till very recently. We just went on hiatus from that. So so we had that too, Awkward Hour Radio, playing Awkward awkward Guests, and a lot of her friends in the local comedian scene came in. But Awkward Fest, um, so we're going to have comedians. She's going to do a set. um, What's her name? Melissa Merlot. Okay. I didn't say her name. Yeah, yeah better. I'd be in trouble. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Melissa Merlot. She's very funny, and she's been the host, and she laughs and makes me sound funnier than I am <laughs> on the show. The great, nice. What a great co-host always does. Yeah, right. um, and 
um, local comics, um, Brian Pope. He's very funny. And Jason Harvey, he's also very funny. If you've ever heard, heard him do his comedy set, I just have two words that will send everyone 